Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy 64-bit Linux assembly language tutorial series. Now in this tutorial, now before uh, I start with this tutorial, in the previous tutorial I talked about bytes, words, double words, and quote words. And the one before that I talked about memory variables and the text section, sorry, the data section. Now in this tutorial I will talk about uninitialized data or how to reserve bytes and about the dot uh, .bss section. So let's get started. Now the first thing that uh, I do in here, let me open the terminal. So let's go to the desktop and open the file. So in the first tutorial, I talked about this in here, this section dot text. So this is the section that holds the instructions. And in the third tutorial, I talked about the data section, this one in here. The data section it holds the variables that we have initialized so for example in here the variable 1 a variable 2 var 3 and var 4 they hold the data which has been initialized like so this is 11 this is 11 22 this is 11 22 and uh, 33 44 this one also so we have initialized this data with these variables sorry with these numbers in here which is 0x11 and then uh, variable 2 0x 1122 and so on and so forth but what if we want to create a variable but hold nothing inside it for now being we just want to reserve some bytes uh, what if we want uh, to do that what do you have to do it now in order to store uninitialized data or in order to create variables or in order to reserve bytes in advance you need another section so the first section in here that um, as I mentioned this is the section dot text these are for the instructions section data these are for initialized variables or variables that we have initialized by initialized I mean when you have assigning a value to a variable now next this uh, in here in this one we will talk about the dot bss section so the dot bss as I mentioned previously it's uh, we use it for um, uninitialized data so in here let's create a variable and call it buffer and then we are saying resb it means reserve bytes so it's like reserving bytes how many bytes do we want to reserve so let's say 100 so this section dot bss it is used uh, I, mean, I know I'm repeating it again and again I just want to emphasize this point so that you guys could um, understand and remember it because uh, this uh, buffer in here we are saying that we are creating a variable by the name of buffer and we are reserving 100 bytes for it so resb resb it is stands for reserving bytes so we want to reserve how many 100 bytes and however we haven't stored anything inside this variable inside this variable yet um, so there is nothing it's uninitialized that's why we have to put it inside the dot bss section so let me save it and let me run it so okay let me convert the object file into an executable and let's run it we don't get an error now let's go to gdb to do an analysis of it so in here now in here set the disassembly flavor now if you don't understand these commands and the previous commands that i typed watch my previous tutorial and those ones i have explained all of them in detail so in here i'm setting the disassembly flavor to until i'm saying set the breakpoint to the start run it show me the ASM assembly layout and let me also show me the register layout now I'm saying info variables so it will show me all the variables so in here this is the variable that we declared which is the buffer uh, so it holds 100 bytes uh, but uh, this is empty so it should be zero zeros now we want to view it so how do we do that let's type x so how many were there we, we had deserved 100 bytes so we say x 100 xb and then buffer and we press enter press enter so you can see that we have this bytes in here from here to here we have 100 bytes these are reserved and whenever you are reserving bytes in advance it uh, holds 0x zero zeros zero uh, in there for us so this is uninitialized data this is the data that we have put in the section dot bss so this is how you can reserve bytes and that's what the section.bss is used. So, so far, we have covered three sections. 
uh, the dot text which holds the instructions the dot data which holds the variables and dot bss which holds an initialized data so this is it for this one guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put them in the uh, comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one